Welcome. I keep telling people to try and use and learn GitHub. And I just made a video what is my workflow after the clean installation. So when I install Arch Linux D or Arch Linux or Arch Linux B, what, else, what then? I need to get my extensions for browsers. I get my uh, Dropbox in sync. And I do also a sync from GitHub. Now, what I forgot to tell in that video is that uh, we have scripts. I have scripts. I made scripts. You can have scripts as well. So let's take my uh, personal ones. This one, update data gits. So you name it whatever you want. It's not important. What's the name? It's if you have it. This only is interesting if you have a GitHub. All right. So I'm just going to go over some little code and you check out if that might be interesting for you. So GitHub is normally a place where you work together on a project. That's how Linux has become so big. <clears throat> and so many people, people, millions over the world are working on the same code. <clears throat> so it's a very complex thing. Okay, fine. But we can use it as a user as well. That is not so complex. So what this does here is <coughs> Sorry. is a little count here, which is actually a one count too much. So I'm going to delete this guy. And um, so we count with zero and then count is zero plus one. So we are one, a variable is now one. And then it says, okay, let's uh, count our GitHubs just to say, do I have uh, all the GitHubs? I, I, uh, let's say you have 20 GitHubs, you should end up with GitHub 20, right? So it's going to check if the directory in my home data Arch Linux Nemesis is there. And if it's not there, it's going to git clone everything from a specific URL. So you have your own GitHub. You change this part with your GitHub, right? So you're not, your name is not Eric Dubois. I'm sure of that. There can be only one GitHub.com eh, with Eric Dubois. But let's say you have a different name and you change this. That's your name. And this one is your GitHub name. You create a GitHub, put your .com files like they say, .files. Huh? And then I say in, in this thing here, just git clone everything. All right. If it does not exist, then you get it. Go inside Arch Linux Nemesis, git pull. Git, git pull means get everything. And this says um, whatever present worker directory you're actually in now, Tell, okay, echo, Arc Linux Nemesis, done. That's what it says. And then you get, go one level up, CD, one level up. So when it does not exist, it's going to be downloaded. But next time, when you run it next time, which I continuously do, I run continuously this update all the time from computer to computer. Now you want to get your latest updates in, in another computer. Then what it does is it checks out there is a um, directory, so I don't do anything. It doesn't do this one. It's not going to git clone everything. No, it's going to go inside, say, the Arch Linux Nemesis. And then this sentence is important. Then it's going to get everything because the first time around when, when there is nothing. Well, yeah, sure. When there is nothing and it gets everything and it's going to pull it again. Of course, is is there is nothing to do at that point in time because it just git cloned it. So, but next time around, I'm working on PC one. I'm done putting everything back on GitHub. Go to PC two, and I do a git pull. So I get the new stuff in, and it says again, okay, I've seen um, the base echo this one. So this Arch Linux Nemesis is done, and it continues to do just exact the same go all along the only thing you have to remember is you have to name it a specific directory of course everything the same and here as well everything the same just use the name that you use on the, the github to make no mistakes so that's basically the thing you saw in the video the other video um, that's now been uploaded um, this is a script i run to get everything easily in all right Enjoy.